Hey you guys, welcome back to Spirit of Culture. It's me, your new lover, Spirit, and I am happy to be here with you. We are talking about books today. I often get asked about the books that I have read, the books that have impacted me on my spiritual journey, and I ain't stingy. You know I'm gonna share it with you. So before we get started, let's get into our mantra of the day. Today's mantra is, all knowledge and wisdom is available to me. Go ahead and put your hands up and let's take a deep breath. All knowledge and wisdom is available to me. And I firmly believe that if you seek, so shall ye find. Mm -hmm. Hey you guys, thanks for being here. And I thank myself for doing this and I thank you to the universe, love, life, and God for bringing you and I together. Got my glasses on. <laughs> so you know I'm serious. Let's get into these books. I'm going to share one lesson from each one of them. I want to encourage you to open your mind. To understand that these books that I share with you are really going to hit upon a lot of your beliefs. They're going to make you say, what? Uh, shut the book. Throw it out the window. They're going to make you question yourself. They're going to make you question your life. They're going to have you questioning your values. You will be uncomfortable that is okay it is okay to not believe something it is okay to not agree with something but keep your heart and your mind open I did notice that even when I felt very shut off from an idea I needed to keep reading because I needed to see what was so sensitive in me that this book had me feeling like ah, why did that happen so open your heart open your mind to new experiences your truths will change how you view things will change as you go deeper into your spiritual journey know that this is all a part of the process growing pains being uncomfortable these are all a part of growing spiritually another thing is that the most magical amazing thing about reading spiritually inclined books is that I believe they are experiential so the only way that you can ever, ever, ever know anything is to experience it yourself. Other than that, it's all hearsay. I can tell you how beautiful Niagara Falls is day in and day out and how it will take your breath away. But if you have never been, you will never, ever know for yourself. So the magic of these books is that somehow, some beautiful, magical way, as you are reading them and you have questions or you don't understand things, I think that life will present the situations that allow you to get that clarity and understanding. It's amazing, it's so cool. I can't wait to like, for it to happen to you. You're gonna feel kind of freaky. A lot of being spiritual feels very weird and freaky, but it's all just new, that's all. I also wanna say I believe in divine Hmm. divine intervention so if there is a book that I speak about that calls your name or speaks to you please check it out there's a reason why it has piqued your interest get into it get uncomfortable get new get ready to grow let's get it first book Celestine Prophecy by James Redfield I love this book this was my intro to spirituality book this book helped me to see that there was something bigger going on in life. It's super short, it was recommended by a friend of mine, but it's also been like hailed by like Jay-Z and a few other people. And it's an adventure book. So this guy is like on an adventure, going through twists and turns about life and learning about life and it's super cool. I definitely recommend Celestine Prophecy to anyone who is kind of like new into spirituality if you're a little bit curious you want to hear like a story i'll also go ahead and put the alchemist in here as well these are two adventure books that i think are really good at just helping you to see how even when things feel down or feel impossible they can still happen because life is magical the next book that i would recommend is the four agreements by don miguel ruiz absolutely adore the four agreements I know, I love everything, but come on, give me a break. Um, I adore the four agreements. It is so practical, these four rules that he gives us. And if you put them into play in your own life, and if you take them seriously, you will see a, dram a dramatic improvement in not only yourself, but also in your relationships and the quality of life that you are living. 
So the one lesson that I have from Don Miguel Ruiz's book is that your words are magic. This was one of the things that I really had to take and internalize is that the universe does not know a joke. It does not know, um, I was just kidding, when you say, I'm so stupid, or, okay, kill me now. Like, those are real things that you are putting out there, and that energy is going to come back to you. So he teaches us that our words can be used for black magic or white magic. And that means they can be used to uplift for the good of not only yourself, but for the entire world. Or they can be used negatively to ban things and talk about people and gossip. Your words are so important. The rest of the agreements are in the book. I highly suggest that you check them out. Very practical tools that you can apply to your life. The next book is actually a series of books. It's called I Am The Word by Paul Selig. And so this text is actually a channel text. Now before I started getting into spirituality and divinity, I did not know what it meant to channel. So channeling is when people feel this overwhelming amount of energy and they kind of start to speak and it's not them. It's actually an energy coming out through them. It may blow your mind to hear about this concept or you may be kind of familiar with channeling. Either way, I Am The Word and that entire series has had the biggest impact on my life and that is because I did open my heart to receive what those books had to offer. So if you're a little bit scared of that, I completely get it. If you feel a little bit curious, like it might be for me, I highly encourage you to check it out. These books take you on a day-by-day -day journey. So you have like day one, day two, day three, and they're all about a month and a half long. And it helps you to know that you are guided, you are loved, especially as you start to clear some of this negative energy out of your life, as you start to reach up to your higher self. These books help me to feel grounded, they help me to feel in power, and they help me just know that I am loved no matter what happens. I wanna share that with you, you are loved. There is nothing that you could ever do to make you unloved. So I super duper duper Love the I'm the Word series. I actually saw Paul Selig do a live channeling in New York, and that was pretty impactful. So yeah, check those books out if you're curious about them. The next book that I have for you was recommended to me three times before I picked it up, and that is Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Y'all, Outwitting the Devil, go spank that little self awake, okay? About life about society and these institutions that are designed to keep us in these negative or immature mind states, whether it be church, religion, school, business, racism, anything. A lot of things are kind of working against us in our mental state, and I think that this book is really good at highlighting it. It definitely had me like shocked a lot of times because we can get caught in one negative thought and then turn that into a negative life and then to the point that kind of it's very hard to climb up out of that hole and so when people tell me that positivity is hard I know it's hard I get why it's hard because there are a lot of forces working against us it states that 98% of us are living unhappy lives I think that that is huge that is super significant Napoleon Hill also wrote Think and Grow Rich, which is also a super good book, especially if you are willing to put together and put in place the practices of this book. The last and final book that I have for you guys is my new baby, my absolute love, The Untethered Soul. I would say that this book is a little bit more mature. It's written very simply, but if you are not introduced to the concepts maybe beforehand, it can be very fast and not very in-depth but y'all this book it makes me cry it's on my heart i'm actually thinking about doing a uh, a book club a guided book club with you guys with this book because i think that it is so profound and if you have someone who's kind of like helping you along the way helping to learn how to relate your own life and experiences i think that we can accomplish a lot with this book the main thing that i took away from this book is that to keep my heart open in all situations. There is never a reason where my heart needs to close, no matter how bad it gets. If you just keep your heart open, stay relaxed in your mind and don't build new walls, allow your psyche to break down and let go of yourself, 
so that you can enter into God's space. You can start to feel God's love. So yes, look out for this. I, we are going to have a guided reading with this because it's important for us to love ourselves and care about ourselves and to really reach these spiritual heights that we do not even know exist yet. That's it for my top five. I do have some notable honorable mentions for you guys. I'm gonna put a list up of all the books that I speak about and all of the authors. My honorable mentions are Oneness by Rasha, very great experiential book. You Are God, Get Over It by Story Waters. Love that book. I mean, that book was asking me, like, if you say you want to be rich, why are you spending all your money? So that was a super good book. Um, any book by Osho. Osho is someone I really like. I think that he had reached a point in life where he was very wise and wanted to share with people. So Google O-S-H-O, Osho. I've read Love, Freedom, and Aloneness. I've read How to Love, and I've read The Mind by him. Any book that you pick up from him is going to be super deep and very profound. The last book that I would say is an honorable mention is A Synchronicity Key by David Wilcox. If you guys don't know what synchronicity is, it's that magic thing how you're thinking about somebody Body, then they call you. You say in the morning, I want some pizza, you go to the cafeteria, boom, pizza. So synchronicity is this weird coincidence that happened. And so he definitely opened up my eyes to see that maybe they're not so random at all. So those are my honorable mentions. If you guys have books that you like, I'm definitely looking for some books by some black or people of color. Put them in the comments. The next books that I plan on reading are The Seed of the Soul by Gary Zukav and Excuse Me Goddess Can We Talk by Sonja Kaleski. Let me know what you guys are reading, what, got, what books do you like, how's it going, we can start something. I love you. Books lead to real experiences, they help to give us clarity, they help to give us understanding. Don't shy away from books, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. You have the power to change your life. All wisdom, all knowledge is available to you. All you have to do is look for it. Trust your life. Bye.